Alrighty, everybody. Time for another indoor football update. Because it's been a hot minute. Well, actually, not really. It's only been about a week or so since the last one that we've done. But we need an update of the landscape. We need an update of what's going on around here. Champions indoor football, quiet. Nothing to say, nothing to see here. That's par for the course for them. NAL, we already know they're struggling. We talked about this what, last week that they're struggling. They're struggling. Six teams. West Virginia is probably dead. So there's no reason to talk about them right now. IFL schedule coming out next week. Oh, boy. It's going to be one hell of a week next week to know who in the world who in the world the Louisville Extreme are going to play because from the looks of it, it might be a beat em up, you know, for the IFL just to get to 12 teams, you know, because being uneven, you know, didn't work out so well last season. Now nah, I'm just playing. There was only two games played in 2020 for, I, for the IFL, so there was no, you know what, never mind. I don't know. But the IFL schedule is coming next week, even though, you know, Louisville probably shouldn't be in the league, but whatever. Whatever. What about the leagues that are below those three? You know, what about the American Arena League and the America West Football Conference? Well, what do we know right now about the AWFC is that they have added the Oregon High Desert Storm. I'm not sure if I've talked about them already. If if not, I'm talking about them now. A team out in Oregon that'll keep, you know, travel, you know, you know, nice and easy. I've heard that there's some more teams that they're trying to add. I've heard Tri Cities is coming back, but you know, nothing nothing really concrete, you know, nothing really to say because it's all rumors at this point, but we do know that Oregon is a thing. I don't know if they'll play in 2021, thanks to COVID, but they're there. The AAL, however, has been on an expansion frenzy. Of course, we all know about the, um, the Texas Alliance Arena League by now that, you know, split off and did its own thing, but the AAL still added teams to Texas anyway. We know of the Allen Tiger Cats. We know of the San Antonio Gunslickers. We know of the Topeka Thundercats out in Topeka, Kansas. We know of the West Texas Buccaneers out in El Paso, along with the St. Louis Bandits, who had an interview about a few weeks ago with Tony Sfredo um, at the AAL, you know, a couple weeks ago. You know, so there was that, you know, a couple weeks ago. And the AAL has been on this weird, you know, expansion frenzy. They've been, it's been said on their website that they've been trying to get to 21 teams. But, you know, there's only, what, 18 right now? Because there's still the 13 that probably are going, may or may not play, you know, next year. At least, these are the, thir the 13 teams that are on there that are still listed, you know. Jersey, Maryland, Music City, Pennsylvania, Reading, and so on and so forth, you know, for 2020, the teams that we're going to play. What about the Tampa Bay Tornadoes? I'm banking on that the Tampa Bay Tornadoes are coming back to the AL. That's just a rumor for me, and maybe several others, I'm not sure, but this is, this is a, hypothesis, a hypothesis for me. I think that the Tampa Bay Tornadoes will head on back down to the AAL because they couldn't they couldn't afford the NAL. And we all know they couldn't afford the IFL, unlike potentially Louisville. <sighs> but but the AAL will be perfect because the Carolinas, you know, the Predators and the um, the Cowboys and the Charlotte. The Charlotte Thunder are out there, you know, and, you know, Tampa Bay is still somehow listed on the AAL website, so that's what I'm banking on as well, that they'll be coming back to the AAL. And there's also rumors of something brewing in Detroit 
and Chicago for the AL. I don't know why, but Detroit, Chicago, if you if you there's guys in those cities that are, you know, you know, thinking, hey, Tony Spreadle's coming on out here. He's gonna try and establish a low budget team. You know, a couple of low budget teams, but the that's just rumors out there, and we all if we do know now that there's supposed to be a Western division in the in the IFL. I mean, not in the IFL, the AAL. Um, considering we had a sort of Western division last year, you know that was supposed to be set up, but then there was only one play, one game played in the AAL. And the AL's got to fix a lot of things if they want to stay alive. You know, stop accepting travel teams, yada, yada, yada. Stop playing an eight-game schedule because that's not that's not really, you know, a feasible schedule for anybody. I mean, who plays only eight games? Eight games is kind of lame. Um, and, you know, stay out of places that, you know, don't seem to really hit. You know, just, they, they just don't seem to really have it, like, Football has pretty much failed, and I know there's one. I know there's one guy who really, really loves St. Louis, so he he's gonna be happy about this um, to hear about the St. Louis Bandits and everything like that. I'm not sure if he knows yet, but uh, but you know St. Louis is a thing. Not sure what else can be added right now. I'm not sure if St. Louis is even staying in because they're not, you know, Wikipedia is basically the best source for getting information about the AAL right now. Uh, there's only four future teams listed. St. Louis is not there. But I do know they are a thing. They will be in the AAL hopefully, you know, maybe, possibly. I don't know. And again, you know, the Eiffel schedule is coming out. I'm excited to see, you know, what the Frisco Fighters can do because I have dedicated myself to be a Frisco Fighters fan this season. <laughs> so I'm excited to see who will play. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it. You know, there's not really much else to say to, you know, keep you guys interested because there's a lot of information that, you know, gets changed by the hour, honestly. And you never know what these indoor arena leagues are going to do. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. I'll see you once again later.